Hello everybody, welcome back to GTA. I was going to say online, actually I'm in single player, but sure enough, it's online DLC I'm going to show you today. So, first off I just want to start off this video by saying, I want to know where you found this video, whether it be on YouTube, Twitter, um, fucking Bebo or whatever, just let me know where you found it so I know that I'm posting in the right places, for God's sake. Cool, let's get into the video. So, a couple of days ago, Rockstar released the Cunning Stunts GTA. DLC that I very almost said wrong. Um, shortly to follow, there were an extra three DLC cards, and I really feel like Rockstar are just getting these cards out fast because modders, etc., etc., have already figured out how the hell to get them on GTA anyway. So I feel like Rockstar are getting these out faster than they did with the previous DLC because the D previous DLC got leaked uh, so quickly. Uh, you can see that on my channel, a little plug there. However, today I'll be modifying the three new vehicles on GTA Online to do with the stunning, nope, the cunning stunts DLC. And I'm going to start off with the cliffhanger. It's actually a motorbike. It's probably my least favourite purely because I not, I'm not, i not really into bikes. Um, but yeah, it's pretty fast from standard. And look how far down he leans. I don't know if that's like a normal thing in GTA. But we're going to take it into Los Santos. We're going to take all of these into Los Santos. And we are going to see what the hell we can do to all these vehicles. I'm really hoping you can do a lot because, I mean, this is brand new DLC and it'd be awesome. I don't know why I'm bothered with Rama. Right, okay, so brakes, engine, horn. Is there? Is there? Nah. I was really hoping there was a um, an air horn, but it doesn't look like it. Cool. So we've got Xenon lights here. Livery. Okay, livery is what I'm interested in. So we've got the stunt livery, which is a bit. Um, what's his name? Who is that dare daredevil called? Reminds me of Elvis Presley. Oh my god, I can't believe I've forgotten his name. No, I honestly can't remember. So we've got the stunt livery and we've got the LTD gas uh, livery as well. Um, both look pretty good. I think this one's my favourite. It'll look good if the bike is in white. Oh, which actually, talking about that, if we get it in matte. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Matte white, there we go. That looks perfect now. It really suits it. Uh, and then if we go to transmission, do the most transmission, turbo, do that. Wheels, you can also change the wheels. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Okay, cool. So we've got... Okay, we just got pretty standard looking wheels. And actually, I prefer the tyres, because if you look, when you select new wheels, the tyres change as well. So I'm going to keep the DLC wheels and see maybe if we can just change them. I don't, I don't know if we can change... Okay, we can't change the wheel colour, which kind of sucks. You can't do the tyre um, design or anything like that. I feel like we should have red tyre smoke on this as well. Um, yeah, that is literally all we can do to this. I mean, it is a bike, there's not much customization in bikes. I'm just going to take a quick look at the mod menu, because I believe it's got features in which allow me to modify the vehicle, so they might actually let me change the colour of the uh, wheels. So two seconds there. I know in, in on cars and stuff, you can actually change the colour of the wheels. Uh, but it doesn't actually look like you can on the bike at all, but I don't think that's too bad I just need to freeze the freaking time as well. There we go. Okay, so yeah, this is what it looks like This is pretty much all we got um, Purely because oh hello fancy car purely because We can't change the color of the wheels or anything, but I don't think this is too bad I'd be happy doing stunts on this and wow. It's really good at wheeling as well Okay, so next up we've got the Ocelot Lynx. It's a sports car. It's a brand new DLC car again, uh, I don't know why I felt like I needed to mention that again, but this looks a lot like the um, Jaguar that we've already got in the game to be honest. I think that is a nice lot as well. Maybe this is like the improved model of it, I don't know. Um, but it is of course part of the stunt DLC, so hopefully we've got an awesome livery at least to stick on this. Maybe even a body kit? Okay, so let's just do the standard things. Okay, so we've got front bumpers and rear bumpers. Let's have a look. So we've got painted front uh, and carbon splitter. Sports grill, which actually looks really good. I feel like I shouldn't like that, but oh my god. Uh, custom chin spoiler, which looks sporty. That looks really good, actually. That looks awesome. I have a feeling I'm not going to... Yeah, I'm not a fan of the aero bumper. It just reminds me of that option in Forza where they don't really know how to modify a car, so they just uh, they just put an aero, aero bumper on it and leave it at that. So I'm torn between this and this. Uh, I think I'm going to make the right decision. I'm going to go for this. Uh, and then we've got the rear bumper, so we've got the... Carbon rear bumper, which you can't really tell. The painted rear bumper, which actually looks really cool. A little bit chabby, but I don't know. 
Uh, rear diffuser, painted rear bumper and diffuser. Okay, I like that one actually. How's that differ from the normal one? Okay, it's quite different. And then you've got the carbon rear diffuser as well. So I'm going to go for the... Uh, I'm torn between that and that. I'm going to go for this one. It looks way sportier. Thank you. Chassis. Oh, okay, we've got the option of a roll cage, of course, because this is a stunt car after all. Does that change? No, it just changes the fact that it's got a roll cage. Okay, so we've got the roll cage. That's done. Uh, now it's time for the engine. We'll that's put that on full upgrade, of course. Care. Exhaust. We've got exhaust options, which is awesome. So we've got the oval exhausts, which you can't... The thing I don't like about exhausts, I wish you could turn the freaking engine off just to look at them. Um, we've got the chrome tip exhaust, which is still... There's still four of them. Look cool. Race exhaust look cool and titanium exhaust looks terrible. I'll tell you what, the titanium exhaust suits something like a Futo, um, but like on modern cars they really shouldn't do them. They don't suit that old sort of chrome, um, sort. Of, well I don't know what sort, of iridescent sort of tip. They don't suit that old, so I'm going to go for the race exhaust. Hood, we've got performance hood, which looks so cool. Oh, I like that one even more actually, double vented look, hood. Scooped hood, I don't like that. And then carbon. I hate carbon so much. So, double vented hood. It is horn. We don't really have to worry about headlights. I think I've said this before in a modification video. Actually, I think I say this every single freaking time. But these modern cars really should just come with xenon lights. I know it's just a gimmicky upgrade from uh, GTA, but they really should. They would in real life come with just just xenon lights. There wouldn't be an option to have halogen bulbs. So I don't know. Uh, then we got the livery. Maybe I should just save that to last plate. So we've got. Uh, so we've got the black one. What? Oh, we got the Yankton plate. I thought it looked different. So we've got the San Andreas one, San Andreas, and say exempt. And I like the size of the number plate. I don't think that the, the options that you get to buy actually measure up right. I don't think they're the right sort of size, I guess. Uh, we don't have to worry about skirts. That's it, right? So carbon skirts. I like them. I like them a lot. Spoiler. So we've got the mid level spoiler. Looks pretty cool. The carbon wing, which actually looks really cool as well. Drift wing and the GT wing, which is absolutely massive. I kind of I'm torn between that and that, uh, and nothing actually. But I'm going to go for that just for the sake of the fact that I'm modifying the car. Uh, we seem to have more suspension options. I don't know if this is just me. Maybe I haven't played GTA in ages, but we have lowered, street, sport, competition, and race. What's the difference? Not uh, quite a bit of difference. Like look at the tuck on the front, but. I don't know if it's that much, but still, right? Transmission, race transmission, obviously a turbo. We'll have a look at the wheels once we've got the um, thingy livery. Okay, right, now let's have a look at the livery. Livery's we've got, we've got the zero gas one. Is it zero? X zero? No, it is definitely zero. So we've got the zero gas one, which obviously means the car would have to be like white or a light colour like that. Definitely doesn't suit this colour. And then we've got the Ocelot racing one, which is, in my opinion, dreadful. Uh, so we're going to go for the zero gas one, we're going to respray it, in primary, matte, white, oh my god that looks amazing. Oh that's actually exactly the same colour, what does it look like in black? In black it looks cool as well, I'm going to have it in black just because otherwise it looks exactly the same as the, the um, picture that everyone's seen. So yeah, that's the, uh, the, the old Ocelot, and yeah that's what it looks like there. Oh I didn't even do the wheels actually, but I feel like... That's so powerful, okay. Let's have a quick look at the wheels actually, to see what wheels we can put on it. Okay, so let's go down to the wheels. Are there are there any new wheels, does anyone know? I've got no idea. So wheel type, high end, we're gonna want sports wheels, of course. Oh, that looks, the, the, just the white, sorry, not them wheels, but the white looks amazing. So if we can find a, some wheels that maybe suit this and have them in white, that, that'd be great. I think I've already picked them, to be fair. But yeah, I did definitely. Okay, so I'm going to go with these ones right here. I know they don't suit it 100%, but they suit it enough for me. Uh, we can have custom tyres, tyre design, custom. Do we want custom? No, we don't. Tyre enhancement, we've got bullet already. Wheel colour, we want them white. Perfect. Wow, this car looks amazing. Um, you're pretty restricted, to be fair, as to how it can look. Obviously, we've got the body kit here. That's about it that's different, really. Everyone's going to have the zero. I feel like everyone's going to have the zero decals in white because, well, it, it looks amazing, actually. So I can't complain. Okay, so now it is literally the car that even I have been waiting for. I saved it till the end of the video because I've been looking most forward to this. And it is the Drift Tampa, which is literally... 
if you haven't seen it, then you've obviously been living under a rock. But it is Kemblock's Hoonicorn. It looks exactly like it. I don't know if anyone would say, eh, it doesn't look anything like it. But one thing I really just want to do is I want to compare it to the Tampa that's already in GTA. Uh, let's have a look, see if we can find it. There we go, right there. So if you look at this Tampa here, it, it doesn't look even half as good as... Ob obviously it doesn't look as good because it's got a freaking body kit on it, but... Oh, I just like that they use that car. I just wonder if they had intention to use that car. Not all along, obviously, because they think of this stuff. Well, I don't know where, how they plan it, actually. But you can see this, just comparing the two, it, it's absolutely amazing. I, I freaking love this car so much. So why don't we just skip the small talk and get inside here and freaking look at this beast. Because, wow, I'm so excited. What miracle did you want me to perform? I haven't seen this car modified at all. If you can get anything close to the Kemblock livery, that would just be freaking amazing. Um, let's get the armor, brakes, engine, lights, headlights. I want to keep them yellow. I love it. I want to keep them yellow. Okay, so the livery is the bit that matters. Braga rum. Th that <laughs> this looks exactly like the Monster Energy one. No, well, not exactly. Obviously, some things are different. Copyright and all that. But that is freaking amazing. And then we've got the Hayes 41 one, which I actually really like. Um, I feel like everyone's going to go for this. So I'm going to kind of go for this and maybe try and do the car in a different color. Just see what it looks like. But yeah, Hot Ring Racer. That looks freaking amazing. I love it. I love it. So we've got the uh, the old Yankton plate on there right now. I'm going to leave that. Leave that there. Respray. Can we change it to like a white or something? Yes, we can. Oh, or a blue. What colour should we... Purple? Purple? Should we do purple? Red, maybe? Even red? Yeah, I'm going for a red. I want to go for a colour that no one's got. Okay, I'm really sorry that if, if that's not really a thing. We've got chrome up there as well. Uh, matte. White. Okay, this... I feel like it should be in the blue. That's it. I feel like that's the right colour right there. Wow, that looks amazing. Cool, so we've got the suspension. We're going to drop it. Although, let's just have a look at the options. Yep, yeah, drop it, obviously. Transmission. Race transmission, turbo, wheels. Right, can we change the The thing is with the wheels is these wheels look so freaking good. Like, so good. I'd say these suit muscle wheels maybe, but they look pants. And they're not even, they're nowhere near as wide. I think Rockstar should have really thought about this. Because obviously, they're the wheels that we've got on it now, except like they're smaller, they've got bigger tires than that. And the problem is, is you can't change the colour. I know, I, well I'm pretty sure you can definitely change the colour of the wheels, so we will be trying to do that um, in just two seconds. And the windows, it doesn't really matter because, well, there are none. There's one at the back actually that's now in limo. Cool. Okay, so that's actually fully modified. I love it. I love this car so much. It's, it's really a shame that you can't do much to the... Um, to the body like obviously the body is as good as it can be but I just wish maybe there was something a little bit more like or less maybe if, if that was an option to have like no no fenders or like no no splitter at the front or even like change the change the um, spoiler a little bit but obviously that's not an option I'm not really gonna be super worried about that let's just take a look to see if you can change the color of the wheels maybe please okay right let's have a look can we change Yes, we can. Oh my god, and they look great in black. Uh, we've got that black. We've got red. They look good as well. Blaze red is even. No, it's not even bright actually. Pink. Obviously, we've got pink. We've got gold, which looks dreadful. Kind of look for either to know whether I should do them in blue. No, I should definitely do them in black actually. Keep it nice and uh, keep it nice, nice and simple. There we go. So yeah, that is the drift tamper as well. That looks really good. That's really done something. Oh, one thing I haven't actually looked at is the interior. What does that look like? Is that... Wow. So the interior is obviously pretty basic. Um, should we see how it compares to the other Tampa, actually? So this is the interior of the other Tampa right here. Um, I just, I like how it's all like, I don't know. It's obviously very standard. And then you switch out into the other one and it's clearly not very standard. That's the, uh, that's the interior there. As you can see, that's pretty much the same interior in here, but it's got all like buttons and stuff. And it looks amazing. And they've had to go to work on this. They've had to actually redesign the interior of the car. That's what I really like. One thing that I find really weird about this DLC is these are the sort of cars that you will not see civilians in. So you see civilians in all sorts of cars. You see them in supercars. You see them in, uh, well, these trucks here. You see them in lorries. 
You see them on motorbikes, you see them on everything, but these are really cars that you... Well, it's unconfirmed, you may see civilians in, but I really don't think you will, because they're clearly, clearly race cars. So, for Rockstar to pull that off, considering the vehicles are, I think, relatively random spawning, is quite good. The fact that you, the, the only way to get these vehicles is, obviously, to buy them. Um, and I don't actually think you can actually get these vehicles in single player, because um, obviously you can't buy them in single player. And you can't find them in single player, so they've really, it's really weird how they've done that. I, I think it's quite good um, to have vehicles that obviously civilians won't drive and stuff like that. But I just wonder if maybe in the future there'll be somewhere in the map where you can go um, and you can just sort of like race them or something like that at least. But anyway, I'm going to leave it there for now. I'm definitely going to try and do videos on this Tampa. Um, I really want to try and make like a drifting around Los Santos one using the Rockstar editor and all that. And it's it should be hopefully a bit, little bit easier now that I've got a PC. But I don't know if I've got the patience for it because I've used it a tiny bit and it's, it's still quite hard to actually use. I just wish there was a way that you could export the files um, and open them up in maybe a different program and choose what camera mode you want to use and all that. But I don't think there is. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to comment down below where you found my video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you like my videos, go and hit subscribe. And I will see you. That failed miserably. In a bit.